Hi, my name is Rashida Tara, and today I will be discussing about cardiovascular disease and the role of artificial intelligence in detecting it among women. So to introduce a little bit about myself, I'm currently a rising senior at Olentangy Liberty High School, which is located in Powell, Ohio in the United States. I'm the founder and director of a nonprofit organization called Cardio Assist. I'm a cardiology research intern at Mount Carmel Research Institute, along with its Women's Heart Program, which has actually inspired me to pursue the research that I'll be presenting throughout this presentation. Um, I'm also a blood donor ambassador of the American Red Cross, campaign leader of the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, and some of my future plans include pursuing a career in the field of cardiology while continuing to pursue research and serve individuals throughout this field in my community. Um, just to mention, throughout this presentation, I'll be referring to cardiovascular disease as CVD. And so to start, what is CVD? CVD is another term for heart disease, and it's basically any disease that relates to and is caused by problems uh, regarding disease vessels, structural problems of the heart, and blood clots. And some examples of CVDs include coronary artery disease, high blood pressure or hypertension, and cardiac arrest. According to the World Health Organization, CVD is the leading cause of death globally. Um, it causes 17.9 million deaths per year, which represents 32% of global deaths. And so as you can see, this global burden of cardiovascular disease and its risks um, can be seen in many areas of the world, as you can see um, by the different colors shown by this image provided by the American Cardi College of Cardiology. And so th that just shows how large of a global health issue this is. The reason for this global specificity can be attributed to behavioral risk factors such as tobacco use, unhealthy diet and obesity, physical inactivity and the harmful use of alcohol, or even environmental factors such as exposure to harmful substances that are toxic such as lead. And so that's what leads to over three-fourths of CVD deaths taking place in low- and middle-income countries just because these countries aren't able to control for such preventable factors. And so what I want to emphasize more throughout this presentation is the gender disparity with cardiovascular disease. Um, heart disease is the number one cause of death for women globally. It accounts for one in three of female deaths every single year every year. And um, the reason for this specific impact on female populations globally is due to factors such as sex-related structural differences of the heart. For example, women have smaller and lighter coronary arteries compared to men, and um, this leads to differences in symptoms. For example, according to a Harvard Medical School study, only one in eight women reported chest pain during heart attack, whereas the statistic for men is very different. Um, there's also unclear results in diagnostic procedures as a result of this, um, such as results for standard exercise stress tests. And this is only further perpetuated by the lack of gender accounting research and the fact that women are only represented as 38% of participants in cardiovascular trials. Now, an important field of technology that can be used to combat this problem is artificial intelligence, or AI, which is basically the leveraging of computers and machines to mimic the problem solving and decision making capabilities of the human mind. There have been many applications of artificial intelligence over the last decade in healthcare and in the field of medicine, and some of those um, can be outlined on the slide as shown. So the specific role of artificial intelligence in female CBD detection can be seen through the use of electrocardiograms. And this type of technology or is otherwise known as ECGs. And ECGs are basically tests that are able to monitor and record the electrical signals of the heart and identify types of arrhythmias or um, variations in rhythm that we might not see compared to a normal person who has a normal working heart, properly working. And so that the use of ECGs is able to detect and show specific types of CVD as well. As you can see, the ECG here that shows ischemic heart disease is very different from that of a heart attack. And so that just shows how ECGs can be used to not only detect irregular heart rhythms, but also to be able to see what specific type of CVD someone might be facing or experiencing. And so the Mayo Clinic has adopted this um, type of technology 
in which it con uh, developed an app that was called a Mayo Clinic ECG study app. And so this app uses AI and machine learning technologies to record ECGs by connecting them to Apple Watches. And so, as I mentioned before, ECGs with integration to AI are able to detect irregular heart rhythms, diagnose different types of CVDs, and this constancy of an AI platform to generate an ECG and detect heart abnormalities substitutes for the unclear, rather unreliable self-reporting of symptoms that vary between men and women, ultimately bridging that gap of detecting cardiovascular disease between men and women worldwide. In fact, I've implemented the solution in my own community by fundraising money to allocate and distribute Apple Watches to homeless shelters and hospitals near me through um, Cardio Assist, which is my nonprofit organization, as I mentioned before. However, it's important to consider that there are ethical concerns of AI, and so those can include privacy and surveillance and that people don't know what information is being taken or stored by this AI technology. And so that's one major concern um, with regards to ethics. Another is the inherent bias and potential discrimination of machine learning. And another ethical concern of, of AI is just the role of human judgment and that idea that it's not completely perfect yet, we still have ways to go and we still do need to use medical professionals when diagnosing and treating conditions. And so some key takeaways of this presentation are that CVD is extremely prevalent in low and middle income countries. It's the number one cause of death globally. Um, but we also need to recognize that it does have that specific impact on female populations, and that's um, also attributed to the gender disparity um, occurring in research, diagnosis, and treatment options. Also, AI or machine learning can be utilized to combat this problem through ECG technology, bridge that gap, and increase accessibility, um, for example, through Mayo Clinic Apple Watches. Still though, more research does need to be done regarding the ethicality and practicality of such technologies. Thus, it's now imperative that we do take the necessary steps, whether that be donating to organizations such as my nonprofit I mentioned before, pursuing your own research, or simply by spreading awareness about this topic throughout your communities to minimize the prevalence of CVD and eliminate its gender disparity on a global basis. These are the sources I used for my presentation. I just want to thank the Global Health Leadership Conference, my mentors, and my family for assisting me throughout my journey in medicine. Um, thank you to everyone watching. Um, feel free to reach out to me via email or LinkedIn, and I'd be more than happy to talk more about my presentation with you. Thank you.